Most airsoft teams or units are comprised of friends. Friendship within your unit is important, but friendship alone won't help in a firefight. Communication and organization will though. In this video, I'll be showing you how I organize small units, how we work with the rest of the company, essential equipment, and interacting with other small units. The most useful piece of equipment you and your squad should all use are radios. The standard right now for Milsom West is the Baofeng. These radios can be tricky to operate, so it's helpful to have a designated radio person who knows how to program them. Your team can also go one step better with a teammate getting an actual ham radio license. After you have everyone on your squad frequency, it's now time to get on the company radio frequency. Having the company radio frequency gives you the ability to call for backup or respond to backup calls. This also gives your squad the ability to relay pertinent information back to command. Our designation is 99. Bad Batch. Oh. <laughs> Fucking nerds. <laughs> so I got my new models in the other day. Our squad isn't a part of the three main platoons, so we created our own unit designator. If you are assigned a unit designator by your leadership, use it. The designator we are using is created out of necessity. This lets command get a hold of us without awkwardly calling us out by our real names over the company radio net or to enemy units that acquired our frequencies. Keep moving to your right. I'm right behind them. Tango's down. You got Overwatch? Overwatch. Unicorn, Desert Fox, take Overwatch. Alphonse. Roger. Search this guy. Overwatch, I got this guy. Good morning. Do you consent to a search? All right, let's see what you got. I mean, like, I, I... actually, there might be in there from like other games. It's all right. <laughs> this is a search for information, so. No, no, for sure. I just, I'm gonna no. see what information we can find. Can, I mean, I just don't want you to walk away, like. With information that's from a that's year good. ago. It's part of the game. Ah, here's what I'm looking for. Okay, you're good. Thank you. How's your war going? Good. Where did it just start? <laughs> Where's your TQ? Right here. <laughs> Put it on him. <laughs> what unit are you in? HQ. HQ? Yeah. How many of you are in HQ? Bro, I can't f***ing count. <laughs> What are you done with the Bosnian children? Tell us now. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> you son of a you bitch. Of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't All right, me, boss. I'll delete the footage. Let's get out of here. <laughs> what did I just watch? <laughs> 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 hey, don't ask questions, soldier. Communication between other small units is just as important as communication within your own small unit. Just because they're not with your friend group doesn't mean you should pass up an opportunity to make your force larger. Battles, especially BB battles, depend highly on numbers. Bring more shooters to a gunfight than your enemy, and your chances of winning are much greater. Sometimes these units will have agendas of their own, so take that into consideration when attempting to work with one another. Other times, these units will be completely uncooperative, which is completely fine. Never try to force, interfere, or belittle other players' airsoft enjoyment. It's two guys, multi-cam traffic green. They're pretending not to see us. And as soon as I said, we're going to get online, they moved back. We're going to go straight toward them. We're going to spring the trap. I want you to make your way around the far way this way. Okay. Uh, I feel like your mission is probably to locate the enemy PB. Yeah. And so do that. If you hear the gunfire, uh, just take a peek. If it looks like you're in an advantageous position to jump them, jump them. If not, continue your recon. Okay, cool. Okay, let's go. Everyone stop. I see, the, I, I see the ambush point. There's the land bridge road. Follow it to where that dirt is. There's a boulder on the left with a tree and then a dark, some shadows. A guy just moved right to left. That's where the rest of them are. I got one guy, my 12 o'clock, signaling for others to move forward. All right, I'm drawing fire now. Gotcha. 
Can I crash this ridge right here? Do it carefully, make sure someone's got you covered. I have enemies right here in my picture. Alp on 20 feet, you're 12 feet. Right. Come on, Lee, we gotta press the fight. You okay? Let's not do that, dude. Come on. Are you down? Flank right with Leah. There's still some behind that big rock on the far right of that one. Cover, 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 cover. Are you dead? Physical ability is an unfortunate factor of airsoft and milsim that not a lot of people address. Everyone sees themselves as high-speed operators, however, your team can only move as fast as its slowest member. Keep this in mind when making long movements with gear and in prolonged firefights. After you've been in some action, take a break. A short intermission from physical activity can go a long way in your next phase of movement or action. Packing us during nap time, how rude. Right. <laughs> Telly ho! When it comes to unit organization, normally I split my small unit into fire teams with fire team leaders. For this particular game, we didn't do that. Organization was fluid. Whomever was near who could make a fire team on the spot. This worked well for our five man unit, but probably not so much for a 10 man unit. Let's go! Come on, NATO! One more to the left! Let's go, let's go! You came to the wrong fob! Yeah, we're already dead over here. Hi, oh, NATO! So far in this video, we've won every engagement. As you would imagine, we're feeling invincible. 
However, you can't win every BB battle, but every BB battle can be fun. In this current situation, there are roughly 10 of us defending a decoy NATO patrol base. The approaching Rust 4 has us outnumbered 10 to 1, not including each player's buddy aid and medic revive. This decoy base was meant to draw in nighttime raids so the rest of the NATO force could sleep somewhat peacefully through the night. Instead of waiting for nightfall, Rust 4 decided to make a massive attack at dusk. Watch that laugh. Shift left. Tango down. The time after losing an engagement shouldn't be spent sulking about who could have done better or complaining about which enemy player wasn't calling their hits. Rather, it should be spent discussing what could have been done differently and what to do to prepare for the next mission or engagement. In hindsight, we should have ID'd their weak side, which is probably that end, and then pushed through them. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And that way it just breaks up their whole flow. Yeah. But dude, I was just that's a good. That's a good one for next time, is we should just, we should isolate a flank and then like punch through it because the flank you were fighting looked to be the weakest yeah well i mean leah was on that hilltop she for like 10 minutes herself. just like, we were like oh, <laughs> i'm like almost completely out of ammo again oh god do you have bb still i have one mag here i have here here's ammo i have three mags i got two eight right here that's going to wrap up this video feel free to share any small unit tactics or tips your squad uses in the comments and as always this is jet desert fox and i'll see you on the field Go, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Where, where, where? 